Welcome to Chapter 2 of the Ultimate GED Math Course from UltimateGED.com. In this chapter, we will be looking at operations on whole numbers. We will be looking at addition and subtraction in this video, and we will look at other operations like exponent, multiplication, and division in subsequent videos. This video is going to be brief since most students are familiar with this topic. We have a full video with about 10 examples on addition and subtraction of whole numbers from our pre-algebra course. We'll put a link in the description for those who need extra help. Question three, John sold $345 worth of goods on Monday, $843 worth of goods on Wednesday, and $1,524 of goods on Friday. How much money did he receive on those three days? Do not use a calculator. You are usually not allowed to use a calculator on GED math questions involving operations on whole numbers. This question is asking for the total amount of money. You will therefore have to add the three amounts. The work involved in adding whole numbers is to align the numbers from the unit column or the right, add them starting from the unit column and carry values to the next column if you have two digit values. So here we have 345, then 843, and then 1,524. Please make sure they are aligned starting from the unit column. That's the right. It cannot look like any of these. All three numbers must align at the right. Let's add, starting from the right. Five plus three plus four is 12. Because it's a two digit number, we will put the two here and carry the one to the next column. We move to the next column. We have one plus four plus four plus two. This is 11. Again, this is a two digit number. We will keep the one and carry one to the next column. We move to the next column. We have one plus three plus eight plus five. This is 17. We have a two digit number. We will keep the seven and carry the one to the next column. Finally, we have a one plus one here. This is two. So our final answer is $2,712. Question four. A businesswoman made $34,937 in sales. She then pays $3,556 in taxes on that money. How much money is left? Do not use a calculator. This is a typical subtraction question. Here, you are supposed to subtract the $3,556 from $34,937. Like we did in addition, you'll have to align the values from the unit column. That's aligning from the right. So we have 34,937 minus 3,556. We start from the units column. Seven minus six is one. We move to the next column. We have three minus five. Since three is less than five, we will have to borrow one from the next column. This is nine. When we borrow one, it now becomes eight. When you borrow, the value is 10. So we will add 10 plus three to get 13. For simplicity's sake, we will say that when you borrow, you'll just put one in front of your number. So we have 13 minus five, which is eight. Next, we know we have eight here now. Eight minus five is three. We move to the next column. Four minus three is one. 
Finally, we have three here. Nothing to subtract from. So we have three minus zero, which is three. So the amount of money left is $31,381. We will end this video here. If you need more help, check out the link in the description to get the full pre-algebra video on addition and subtraction of whole numbers. Please like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification. It's extremely important you watch our next video on exponents and all subsequent videos. Thank you. Have a great day. See you in the next video.